In this example, we're going to calculate the distance between these two complex numbers. So complex numbers are going to be written in a plus bi form. So I'll say a plus bi, and then the second one I'll call it c plus di, because it's two separate numbers. And so our distance formula tells us that if we take the difference of the real parts and the difference of the imaginary parts and square each one, and add them to the square root of that, and that's our distance. Essentially, it's just the Pythagorean theorem in the complex plane. So let's go ahead and see what this comes out to be. So our C is our negative 4, and our A, well, there actually isn't a real part on this negative 5i number, so I'll put a 0 in its place. Square that, and move on to D. D is going to be positive 3, because this is C plus D I, I'm not concerned with the I's right now. I just need that D is 3. And the B, similarly, I can ignore the I's. The B is negative 5. And it's the square root of all that. So continuing to simplify, negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. And 3 minus a negative 5 will be 3 plus 5, which will be 8. Square root of that. And continuing it once again, 16 plus 64 for our squares. Makes the square root of 80. But let's go ahead and see if I can reduce the square root of 80. Let's first find its uh, prime factorization by dividing out prime numbers. And it looks like I've got a lot of twos there, so I can rewrite this as the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And then we're looking for pairs because pairs make perfect squares. So there's a pair of twos and there's a pair of twos, each which will bounce outside, which will ultimately give me here 2 times 2 radical 5, which is 4 radical 5, and that'll be the distance between these two complex numbers in the complex plane.